My name is Kim Wai Pei. I'm a lecturer in English and I'm teaching English subject. Hello everyone, I am going to say today is On the Conduct of Life written by William Hazlitt. This lesson is going to be a continuation of the first class we have done in the last. So today we are going to do the next chapter, the next paragraph. And now let us look together at the lesson. You seemed at first to take no notice of your school fellow or rather to set yourself against them because they were strangers to you. They knew as little of you as you did of them, so that it would have been a reason for their keeping them aloof from you as well, which you would have felt a hardship. Learn never to conceive a prejudice against others because you know nothing of them. It is bad reasoning and make enemies of half the world. Do not think ill of them till they behave ill to you, and then strive to avoid the faults which you see in them, this will disarm the hostility sooner than pick or resentment or complaints. Now in this paragraph, we have seen that Hazlitt's son has the habit of taking no notice of his school fellows. When he first went to the school, he did not take notice of his school fellows and then he pretend that he feel as if he is a stranger in the school. So, he rather set himself against means assume an opinion before even trying to know the friends the people he just set and assume before that these students or this fellow were a strangers to them so as they were strangers to him he just said that these fellows will not be a good person so the school fellows they were a stranger to him and that's why they knew little of Hazlitt's son as Hazlitt's son did to them. So this must have been a reason why the students in the school kept aloof from Hazlitt's son. So they maintained a distance because the only reason for this was Hazlitt's son was a stranger to them and Hazlitt's son was also a stranger to those school fellows and so this must have been the reasons because the first time when we just know people we do not go forward and speak to them or we cannot just uh, be very conversant with them so that was what was the problem with Hazlitt's son so you see when he come across that kind of situation he find it a hardship. He find hardship means difficulties. Mana miyoi ba school da chalu raga angang sing sukhang khang na dabo mayam thing naru rakanda aduki mayam mana han hekta wari saga da ba han hekta mana chang sila ga hekta kaino to gado bado nuai da bagi he find it hard. He find it difficult. Adu na magi da magta awa ba mo oi na thoki. But the only reason why he had felt like that was that the school fellows were strangers and he was also a stranger to those school fellows. There was no other reason. So that is why his father said that you must learn how to accommodate yourself to any kind of situations. So the only reason here we have is they were strangers to each other. So his father has again said that learn never to conceive Conceive means form an idea, a prejudice. What kind of an idea? An adverse judgment formed beforehand. That is a prejudice what we call it. So Hazlitt's son has the habit of forming an adverse judgment of a person when he had not even spoken to them. So only for that reason, he is just against the school fellows. So, the only reason here he just had uh, an adverse judgment formed beforehand was that he know nothing of the school fellows. Now, 
he said again the father said again it is bad reasoning so this kind of forming a judgment of one person even before speaking to them or even before knowing them is he said bad reasoning bad reasoning means a way of coming into a conclusion just making a conclusion before even trying or giving a trial so when we have this kind of attitude when we have this kind of thinking about a people which we do not know what is the results this makes enemies of half the world enemies of half the world means make enemies of a group of people so when we form this kind of attitude just before even giving a trial we instead of accommodating ourselves to the new situation very easily what do we do we make enemies i don't know sigumba conclusion try to drink it khanga drink it hek ta khoi na masimi se phat loi nungai roi stranger ama oi bagi maram na khoi na smai na hek ta wakhal lon am hek ta thamba se si am phata ba yam it is a bad reasoning and this make enemies of half the world akhoi na han na mi gi sukhang khang na drink it phat loi na tra ga ma se aphaba mi oi ram oi hai da na ai gi wakhal de hek ta han na lai thok ra ba ta ra di adu gi mi do ai gi na ba instead of becoming a friends this will become or the person will become an enemies for them so wherever i go in this world if i have this kind of attitude i will be making enemies everywhere instead of making friends with the new people strangers new person that i have met or i have come across in my life instead of making friends this people whom i have come across will become my enemies from my side not from the side so this kind of attitude is very unhealthy for ourselves as well as the students and that's why we have to throw away we have to get away from this kind of attitude just having a formation in our mind about the person's character even before meeting them or even before talking to them or even before knowing them so he said again do not think ill of them till they behave ill to you and then strive to avoid the faults which you see in them so he said again to his son do not think ill of any person until they behave ill towards you aduna mi ama se akoi hek ta phat loi natraga masi phatte haidana han hek ta khando pada tawroi da bane akoi na tinara kanda ma se aphaba mi oi ba natraga phata ba mi oi ba khang akanda akoi na adugi wakhal do thamba tara su adumai na hana tina thoga hana magi lamchat natraga magi character mayam do khangdu akanda koi na dumai na khala su that is also one thing but even at that time we should not just hit the person adumatam hek matang hek thing na batara su akoi na kari to batai mi oi ba mado adugi mi mi amado akoi na hek ta mangon da nungsi da ba natraga hit hatred ama hek ta form to go da ba nati we must uh, try to avoid to see the faults moi ki phat ta ba character ama akhoi na u ga da ba do we have to avoid seeing them we must try to avoid seeing the faults in them moi ki phat ta ba mayam da akhoi na u shin na da da na aphabaram da on thok pata ra di we can make a lots of friends in this world aduna akhoi ki prithibi si da hing ba ta ra di we have to adjust ourselves we have to try and adjust ourselves to any kind of situation we may come across many people that we do not like we may come across many people that we like so even when we come across people whom we find it very irritating we have to try and avoid seeing the faults in them this will disarm this arm means to deprive of any means of attack the hostility sooner than pick pick means ill feeling or resentment resentment means feeling of anger or complaints adun akhoi na moi ki false me amdo usinna da dana tinaru raga aphabarom da loin on thok pat matam da kari oira kani this will this arm the hostility moi na akhoi na yingning da ba akhoi da nungsi da ba makhai do loin lauthoga akhoi bu nungsi 
Pona Ahoyga Tina Ningakpa Aduna Ahoyna Mayam Siga Loin Yana Nangai Purakpa Platform Amoira Kadaba Adukumba situation the Hoyna create the Rakani Moidusu Sawbogi Mahuta Hoida Adagi ill feeling labor Mahuta Moina Ahoybu Nushina Ditch Natraga Nushina Hoybu Mama Nabiamu Oina Hoybu Loina Raga Adum Lamina Matang ama Europe ya bagi kai normal lay badagi has lit na macha nu pada si mayam ki advice man school ahan bachat pada loy na si ki advice macha nu pana adjust to nangai si mayam sa loy na hai bire matang ki paragraph la kanda I thought you were disposed to criticize the dress of some of the boys as not so good as your own. So he said, has lit son, he said to his son means I refers to the father and you refers to Haslit's son. You were disposed to criticize the dress of some of the boys as not so good as your own. Never despise anyone for anything that he cannot help. Least of all for his poverty. I would wish you to give up appearance yourself as a defense against the ideal sneers of the world. But I will not have you value yourself upon them. I hope you will neither be the duped, victim of deception, nor victim of vulgar, that is ill-mannered prejudices. Instead of saying above, never despise anyone or anything that he cannot help. I, might, I have never said, never despise anyone at all. For contempt implies a triumph over and pleasure in the ill of another. It means that you are glad and congratulate yourself on their failings or misfortune. The sense of inferiority in others without the direct appeal to your self-love is painful feeling and not an exalting want. So Haslit again in this paragraph he advised his son that his son has an inclination to criticize the dress of some of the boys as not so good as his own. So the next thing which he complained to his father is that his school fellows were not dressing up very well. Hi, buddy. Manga school chat pada magi mama na basing na moy ki piro na tar ka moy ki dress may am do magi do na phaja di hai dona ma ma pada complaint tawi. And then his father said, never despise anyone for anything he cannot help, least of all for his poverty. Ado na kari hi re. Despise never despise anyone. Kana kana oirasu mana. Taubangam the ba. Hi, but the Mamon the key, Maggie capacity the later ba. What am I do that? Masa ena. I do give Maram the ena mamma bohek the ying ning the ba. Natra hate to ba. So he said, never despise. Despise mean hate anyone for anything that he cannot help. Least of all for his poverty. Lie the bummy am a way buggy maramna. Aina Mamon the hecta ying ning the ba. No she the ba. In top be ba. I do give situation the. So Hazlitt also he said to his son that never despise anyone for anything that he cannot help because we cannot help being poor. Everybody in this world want to be a rich or the son of a rich person but we cannot because this is the situation, the condition which we cannot help. We all want to be a rich person but we cannot help. So, less of all for poverty, has let he said to his son, do not hate, do not despise anyone for his poverty, for being poor. I would wish you to keep up appearance. Mana, mimonda, magi, mama naba singi, dress to pazidi haidana, complain to batara to, ma masa magti, pazana dress up to, so that you have to. Defend yourself. Nang masana defend to nangai. Karam bab kai no dagi no defense to daba to gadaba against the idle sneers. Idle means meaningless. Sneers means criticism of the world. Aduna ahoyna mingwan the nung shi gadaba. Lai daba oi bagi nung shi daba da tauroi daba. Adoi tarasu we have to dress up ourselves so that we can defend ourselves from. The idle sneers, the meaningless sneers. Ako ay napiron, pazabas, pazadabas hit, padagi, 
unnecessary, meaningless, criticized the rock of the mark talk none about a hoina dress up the batai, hide the machanupa the high key. So, in order to defend himself from the idle sneers of the world, he has to dress up, that is, keep up appearance and dress very well. But I would not have you value yourself. Value yourself means consider yourself valuable upon them. So he again said, even though he asked his son to dress up very well in order to defend himself from the idle sneers of the world, he said that you should not value yourself upon them. Hi, but the magi piron, the set, but the man value the tamoy da bane. The more important thing is the value of the person. What he must think about or what he should value is the quality of himself. That is what his father said to the son. Machanupada piron of Haba set kadabani, Adubu, Aduki piron, when a set pado, value tamoy da bane, Adukak the da when a value tamakanda, A sekaram mino. Apabami oibra, Natraga Patabami or Akadabra, Natraga Apabami or Nanabahot Nagadabado, Aduna Hena Lubani, Aduna Hena Velu Tamgadamani, Haidana, Mapana, Masanopada, Mukapata Piri. I hope you will neither be the duped. Dupe means victim of deception, nor victim of vulgar. Vulgar means ill manner prejudice. So he won his son neither to be the victim of deception and he won his son not to be a victim of vulgar prejudice also. That's why he won his son to keep up appearance, dress very well so that he can defend himself from all these ill manners or all these sneers of the world which we are facing every day. Mean a nokna ba unnecessary the hulak pamatam natraga hoi ki character mayam the moina kari kari patabam yam nang biba se a sig nak thongna ba. We have to make up appearance and we have to dress very well. Instead of saying above, never despise anyone at all that he cannot help. So he said, Never despise anyone or anything that he cannot help. Mana aduna simeam se haira pomatunga kari haira el masiki sentence the di hana di magi dress maram da angang sing natraka nangi school fellow mayam se nang na ying ning da ba natraka nushi da ba tauroi da bani adupu lastly he said never despise anyone at all. Kanam ta se despise tauroi da bani you should never help anyone at all in this world. Anything or for which he cannot help. Man masagi capacity the put hook pungam draba, not a magi capacity the lay bungam drabagi, maram the hoin among the ying ning daba, a dugumba, wahal, a dot hadu aga. We have to try to help them or try to start liking the person. I might have said, despise, never despise anyone at all. For contempt, contempt means feeling of disrespect, uh, uh, disrespect sorry. implies a triumph over and pleasure in the ill of another. So he said despise, never despise anyone at all. For contempt, contempt means feeling of disrespect. So when we have a feeling of disrespect to the person, what is the result? The result is that it suggests, implies means suggests a triumph. Try means victory over and pleasure in the ill of another. So at this point, when we despise anyone and when we contempt, when we have a feeling of disrespect, what is the result? The result is that we become a victor, a victory, a victor. And it shows that we have a pleasure in the ill of other people. Me oi baman of misfortune, natraga. Laibak thi ba ma mangon the hectare ba matam da ahoy na som da nuai ba ma utpa ki result amalai. Aduna that is why we should never have a feeling of disrespect of others because it implies a triumph over and pleasure in the ill of another. It means that you are glad and congratulate yourself. Congratulate yourself means feels happy on their feelings or misfortune. Asin a contempt a uru ba matam da kari utle hai ba matam da. Mewai bawa mana, laybak, tiba, 
मथक तारकानोम कंग्रेचुलेट है वी फील हेपी एट द मिस फोर्चून ऑफ आदर दिस मीन्स दैट वे आर वेरी ग्लैड एंड वे कंग्रेचुलेट आर सेल्स ऑन द मिस फोर्चून ऑफ आदर्स द सेंस ऑफ इनफीरियरिटी सेंस द सेंस ऑफ इनफीरियरिटी मीन्स द फीलिंग दैट आदर्स आर इनफीरियर सो द सेंस ऑफ इनफीरियरिटी विच इज इन आदर पीपल वेन वी शो इट we feel happy and then when we have when we love only ourselves this kind of attitude is something which should be painful and not an exalting one so this kind of feeling what we have inside ourselves we should not feel proud of this kind of feeling inside us we should be very very careful about this kind of uh, formation of this kind of attitude because this self love is something when you are having so much self love you do not pay attention to other people's uh, attitude or behaviors or other people's feelings which is very painful for them so he said when somebody is inferior to you have a sense of inferiors and because of your self love only you congratulate yourself because you think you are the superior you are you think you are superior to them but that kind of feeling inside a person is a very painful feeling and not an exalting one this is not a joyful thinking which you should have so everyone any student specially you should be very friendly with all your school fellows so when you are in school do not have the habit of hating somebody for no reason at all just only for because having uh, not a proper dress because they are poor because they cannot afford something which you are able to wear it today so this kind of attitude or when you feel happy at this inferiority of others this is something which is very painful for a person you complain since that the boys laugh at you and do not care about you and that you are not treated as you were at home so haslit son has the habit of complaining to his father that the boys in the school laugh at him and that he was not treated at home he was not treated as he were treated at home so he has the habit of enjoying the life the atmosphere of home and the atmosphere of school is not the same when you are at school you have you come across so many strangers you come across so many difficulties you come across so many obstacles but at home you are the king you are the master of all so you cannot expect anything or the kind of atmosphere which you have enjoyed at home in school also स्कूल मा यूम लेगदब स्कूल मा लेगे है एटमोसफियर मा स्कूल फंगोदबनी मपाद कंप्लें तौ द बॉयज डू नोट केयर फॉर हिम दैट मीनस द बॉयज इन द स्कूल डू नोट केयर फॉर हिम स्कूल की ममानब नुशीदे केयर तौदे है मपाद कंप्लें तौ my dear that is one chief reason for your being sent to school to endure you be times to the unavoidable rubs and uncertain reception you may meet with in life aduna mapan haira ekari aduda he said adu gi maram da ne nang se school da aina thari se the one chief reason why haslet sent his son to the school was that to endure means get used to something unpleasant circumstances which is very unpleasant he must come across in order to become a very well proportionate person he must face this kind of unpleasant thing also yum de le rekan de di nungai bo khak ta loi na thengna bani na ma gi damak de di yam nungai re but when he come to school it is totally different the situation is different the circumstances is different and he the chief reason why his father sent 
his son to school is to get used to something unpleasant also which is very different from the home atmosphere that means to endure you b times means b times means well in advance to unavoidable rubs unavoidable rubs means difficulty and uncertain reception uncertain reception means unpredictable and unfavorable behavior you may meet within life so the father sent the son to school in order to get used to the unpleasant reception well in advance which will come across the unavoidable difficulties then the uncertain means the unpredictable the incidental or anything that comes up suddenly that unfavorable reception which he may come across in life he must use to it so in order to get used to this kind of situation and circumstances his his father sent his son to school because in life we cannot say that we will come across only the easy life we will come across so many difficulties in our life because life journey is said is a saying say that life is the journey of life is not a bed of roses so there's ups and downs so we cannot come across only with the ups when we come across the down it becomes quite difficult so in order to prepare himself from this uh, uncertain reception the unpredictable reception which he will meet in life he sent his son to school but you must not expect others to show the same concern about you as i should you have hitherto been a spoiled and a spoiled child and have been used to have your own way a good deal both in the house and among your playfellows with whom you were too fond of being a leader but you have good nature and good sense and will get the better of this in time so he said you cannot always be with me so the father said to the son you cannot always be with me you have to get away from me life is full of obstacles life is full of difficulties so you have to come across all these things without the help of the fathers so he said to his son you cannot expect the same concern which i have given to you so his father said don't expect the care and the concern which you get from me from your other school fellows so until now you have been a spoiled child spoiled child means a child having his own way so until hitherto means until now so until now the son has lit son he is a spoiled child having his own way and have been used to have your own way a good deal so he has the nature of the habit of having his own way mana pamba mong do dum por khuding mak se magi do mak ta loi na leira kan hai bigi habit ama se mana form to re yum da gi because he was a spoiled child the father petted the mother and the father petted him and he has grown up in a very comfortable life at home so he expected that kind of atmosphere this kind of circumstances to be always with him in school also aduna assume but atmosphere se mana school da so expect to bada gi ma gi character se form to bara yara adoi doi ni aduna ma pa na you have to be you are always a leader in the homes but still now we have a good sense adu gumba nature le ba taro sunang hojik phau di you have a good sense so in times you will get the better of this means you can deal successfully adu bu nang si gumba gi circumstances lakpa matamda if you follow what i have said to you you will be able to deal successfully with the difficult situation the difficult situation means the hostile reception of school fellows you have now got among other boys who are your equals or bigger and stronger than yourself and who have something else to attend to beside humoring your whims and fancies and you feel this as a repulse piece of injustice aduna miwai ba mana ma bu yum da ma ma pa na treat to ba gi mong da treat to ra pa matam da he find it something he find it very very odd and he cannot accept that situation but the father said that there are so many people who are stronger and bigger than you richer than you and then there will not always be the person all the boys in the school will not always be there to fulfill your fancies and whims 
fancies and whims means unreasonable wish. Man apa mi ba pot sing do unreasonable oi ba tara so yum dadi adum mama mapa na nukshi bani na adum fulfill tau bhi adubo. He will not find that kind of situation in school. And when he come across this kind of uh, rebuke from the friend, ma ki friend sing na mongon the attention pi da ba matam da. He find it a repulse. Rude refusal. A piece of injustice. So this he should come out of this kind of attitude and situation so that he can meet and he can become a complete person in this world. When he can come over, when he can triumph over this kind of obstacles and difficulty, difficult situation in life, he can become a complete person. But the first lesson to learn is that there are other people in the world beside yourself. There are a number of boys in the world where you are whose amusements and pursuits are and ought to be as much consequence to them as yours can be to you and to which therefore you must give way in your turn. The more airs of childish self-importance you give yourself, you will only expose yourself to be the more thwarted and loved at. True equality is the only true morality or true wisdom. Remember always that you are but one among others and you can hardly mistake your place in society. In your father's house you might do as you place. In the world you will find the competitors at every turn. You are not born a king's son to destroy or dictate to millions. You can ex only expect to share their fate or settle your differences with them. You already find it so at school and wish you to be reconciled to your situation as soon and with as little pain as you can. So Haslid he said to his son that the first lesson is that he must learn is that there are other people also in the world beside, beside him. So many strong people, so many bigger people, so many powerful people. So there are a number of boys in the school whose amusement, amusement means enjoyment and pursuit means activity to which one gives time as a walk of hobby. Moiki hobby tungan ba? They will not have a time for Haslitson. They will not have a time to give to Haslitson. Mama Mopa na mongon the pee but time do. Mongon da. Pira kadaba mi se school da laita banana. School yangang sin su. They have their own enjoyment. They have their own pursuits. Pun si si tamoy na. Tiga daba mea moy ye hobby mayams. Amalay banana. Moy na su. They don't have a time. So, they have their pursuits and the amusement are as important as their own as Haslit son. Haslit son, Matana, Magi, amusement, the pursuit, yam important, oi, hai badona, angang sing na so, atay ki angang sing, school boy sing na so, moi masa masa ki loi na khanara panina, Magi da mak matam lai rakte. Aduna, he advised his son to give way for this students also. So, the more he behaves like that, the more he will be hated. That means people will oppose him. Thwarted means having a tendency to oppose. He, if he continue to behave like this, the more he will be opposed by people. Instead of becoming a friend to them, he will be hated, he will be more opposed and then people will laugh at him. So true equality is the only true morality. So true equality is only true morality and true wisdom. Remember that you are not your but one among others and you can hardly mistake your place in the society. In your father's house, you might do as you please. I don't know. He said that he can do whatever he like in his father's house, but in other worlds, in outside world, he is one person among millions and millions of boys. And nobody has a time to give the attention to Haslitz sons. So at every turn, he will find a competitor. Yum dadi mangon do compete tau nangai tau bi nangai mi leite adubo. The moment he set his foot outside the house, there will be so many people who will come forward to compete with him. So you have to settle with these differences. Aduna si gumba situation differences nang na pangi ba si asi try to solve it, try to settle it amicably. Amicably means in a friendly manner with them. You already find it at school. Aduna school da nang na kengari ba. Awaba mayam, odd situation mayam do, you must reconcile it as soon as possible. I don't know. At two bumatam danang reconcile to raga as less pain as you can.
Nungaitaba se loina. Lotu aga, try to adjust yourself to the new atmosphere where you are sent to school. And with this, I will conclude my class today till we meet the next time.